Hey platform, it's Rowan, and today we're going to be doing exactly what it says in the title. There's bookshelves here, bookshelves there, bookshelves over there, there's a lot of bookshelves in this room. You know, if you want to come along, it should be a really chill video. I might, if there's some books I think you might like, then I might recommend them along the way. Um, maybe if you have uh, some bookshelves that need some TLC in your life, uh, you can sort through them while watching this video. So I was wondering how to sort these shelves. So normally I do like alphabetical, but a couple of weeks ago, some of you keen platform uh, watchers may remember we did the um, an autumn book tag and one of the kind of things you had to do was collect up books with particularly autumnal covers. And so I had a load of books that had like red and orange spines and I just shoved them back on the shelf and my eye, they're over there, keeps being drawn to them because there was something just so aesthetically pleasing about books that have similar spines going together. So I think we are going to order the books today by colour, with some exceptions. So I think I'm going to group them into the kind of vague categories that I have the most books of. So like YA and children's, some classics, um, some LGBT nonfiction, um, but within those categories, rainbow shelves. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the books off the shelves and sort them because there are probably some books that I, if I'm being completely honest with myself, either won't read to begin with or won't read again. So I'm going to collect them to donate and then the rest of them we will put back all rainbowy. Through my own system of separating different genres or categories of books, there are some that I see on my shelves that go together so beautifully. Like, look at that. That is so satisfying. But Frankenstein by Mary Shelley does not belong in the same uh, section as pulp, which is a YA, so it's fine, it's fine. Stick stick with the categories, Rowan. You can do this. Step one, sort the books. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my floor, where the books shall be sorted. It's a very weird angle. That's not even a book. That's also not a book. It's a very good game. Again, these are postcards. We're off to a good start. Sort the books. Absolutely using this. And this. And this. We're off to a great start. And this. And this. And this. Okay, I haven't read this, but it is by the same person who re who wrote um, her book. What book is it? You have a really nice copy of it. Station Eleven. I'm probably going to read that because I really like Station Eleven. That I'm absolutely going to keep because it's signed by Michael Morpurgo. This one I'm going to keep. This one. Oh my goodness. Be talk about beautiful books. I mean, it's it doesn't look that big because it's separate. See, it's very big. 100 Nights of Hero. We've talked about this before on this channel, um, but I think a little while ago. It's just like the illustration, so beautiful. Absolutely keeping this, even though it is huge. Well, I did a whole shelf and I'm keeping all of them. So the sorting isn't necessarily going as well as it could be. Sort the books. Oh, should I sort these into the categories as I go? That seems like it's a smarter idea. <laughs> okay, right. Nonfiction, YA teen, general fiction, fiction. Okay, classics. I can go to that. Oh God. Go. Okay, as you can probably expect from my job I do running Penguin Platform, I think a lot of these books are going to be going into the YA teen children's um, section. Oh, we've got one which is like um, writing non-fiction, how to be a better writer, which I probably have a few of those as well. So we'll start a new pile for that. Oh, so I've literally just done a video that would have gone up on this channel a lot earlier, which is um, all about Halloween reads. And I've just realized I already have a copy of um, The Haunting of Hill House. I made a big thing in the video about how I couldn't show you any um, actual physical books because uh, they were all in the office and it turns out it was on this shelf the entire time. This is why you clean out your shelf so you know what on earth you even have <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, one I also didn't do for the Halloween reads, but you know what, it's good every time of year. Um, Lockwood & Co. It's a good, it's a very good time. It's like about a world in which um, ghosts are a thing, um, but the only people who can sort of fight them, interact with them, see them, sense them are children. And teenagers and um, so it follows this kind of like teen ghost fighting agency it's a very good time there's like quite a few books in the series so you can really like hone in um hone in let's try that again there's actually quite a few books in this series um so you can definitely dig in and just binge read i guess oh if you're a fan of the handmaid's tale um literally a quote on the front cover from margaret atwood um complex and very human is woman on the edge of time um which is also described as a classic feminist science fiction novel so worth checking out so this is hilarious you can see this is a proof what's so wild is that the reason why i have this proof is because before i worked at platform i came to a platform event and they were giving out proofs and this is clearly one of the ones that i got um which is final girls um so another horror i need to um stop recommending you horrors in this video i guess the spine is more black than pink but i'm sure i can find something that will go with it color wise 
Oh, so one thing I forgot to mention is um, with the different categories, um, series are exempt from this. So like I just came across um, this, which is obviously part of the Rosewood Chronicles, one of Connie Glynn's books. Um, I'm, I'm not wild enough to have, you know, if, a, if book one has an orange cover and book two has a purple cover, that I'm gonna put them in separate places. That's ridiculous. No, we're not doing that. We're gonna, series can have their own section on the shelf that can just be done alphabetically. Um, and I won't mind about the colors not being order because I don't, there's not, I don't hold that much chaos in my body, you know? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not that chaotic. Just a floating head. Hello, how's it going? Okay, so I've taken everything off these shelves and sorted them, but I do have some YA and teen stuff like across there. And I'm thinking this is gonna be like the YA bookshelf. So what I'm going to do is just start putting like really obviously colored ones up and kind of just like take them off and fit them in and see, I don't really know what's an efficient way of doing this. So we're just gonna, gonna see what happens. Look how beautiful that, oh, this plan was so, so good. Sense. Oh yeah, baby. Well, I did a grand total of two out of the 20 shelves so far. Ta-da. I decided to reward myself with an ice cream break, so. <laughs> Productivity, or we are not. Okay, I think on this below shelf, I'm gonna do these non-fiction writing ones. Depending on how many, are on this shelf um, and how much of a color range we have. How cool is this by the way? It's called Wicked Plants, The Weed That Killed Lincoln's Mother and Other Botanical Atrocities. Got that at a secondhand shop in America. Just a global tour of Rowan's bookshelf. <laughs> I know that us book lovers really love our physical books, holding them in our hands. A lot of the time there's like a nostalgia around them and um, we really like to have physical copies. I know that you may have spotted on the shelf, I think I've got about seven copies of Macbeth. But uh, other people um, also like books and would like to have them. And so if there's some that you can part with, don't think of it as like losing a book from your collection, but of, of spreading that joy and the, and the story and the words inside to other people. Okay, so we're moving on to another one of the many bookshelves in this room. And I think this one is gonna be for the general fiction and um, some classics maybe. We'll see what can fit on here. So over on this smaller bookshelf, that's just a few shelves. Um, I've put my classics uh, and general fiction. And then I also managed to fit in some of the um, series that I had that all coincidentally had kind of black covers or white covers. Um, so they kind of fitted together pretty nicely. Um, I still have some leftover series and books and stuff that I need to figure out somewhere else to put. So that was a little uh, shelf bookshelf rearranging video um, to be extremely rainbow colored. I think we pulled it off. I think it looks really great. Um, if you have been rearranging your bookshelves along with us, let us know what kind of rearranging order you went with. Was it Colours Like Us? Was it alphabetical by genre? Some people on Twitter were saying you did it by publisher, which I feel like is extremely professional of you. And um, we would love to hear about it in the comments. And as always, subscribe to Platform if you want more bookish videos like this one. But I'm gonna die. i